flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and this is the kickoff to my summer CSA. A CSA is a bouquet membership. It stands for Community Supported Agriculture, um, punch and hydrangeas. And that's basically a way for one of my customers to buy five weeks of bouquets in advance of the season. It helps me purchase the supplies that I need and it ensures they get the best bouquets that I'll be offering all season long. So today is the first week, day one of, I have two separate locations. Today is the first location, first pickup, and I pushed back my CSA a couple of weeks. I normally start it in mid-July, but I wanted to wait, well, number one, some of the stuff that I grow was a little bit behind, like my zinnias, et cetera, et cetera. We had some low overnight temperatures, even in the 30s in June. So some of the hot weather loving stuff was delayed a little bit. And I knew that in order for my customers to get the biggest bang for their buck, I needed to push back my summer CSA until the first week of August. So now for the next five weeks, they will get the best of what I'm cutting here on the farm. So let's start off with what I'm cutting and some of this stuff I'm not sure. This is the first year that I'm cutting hydrangea, guys. These are gorgeous Invincible Ruby hydrangea heads. And how are we going to keep this alive in the bouquet? Because sometimes they wilt and they only last a day, maybe two days. But Sunflower Steve, he sells these. And you can see here that this one's already, this was harvested yesterday and this is already a little wilty. There are some secrets that you can use to plump up the, the flower head again. And one of those is a hot water bath, really. You can um, get some really hot water. This is a tip that I learned from Farm Girl Flowers and new fresh cut, hot water, let it sit, then move it back into where you're storing it for your room temperature water for your bouquets. So I'm going to attempt a hydrangea head. Here is a look at some hydrangeas that I cut three days ago. And I'm just um, taking a look at vase life. This one looks fantastic. This one looks pretty good. You could also mist hydrangeas. Um, these ones look good, a little good. Um, I mean, none of them look bad. None of them really look great. If you guys have some tips on how to hydrate hydrangeas, Sunflower Steve has some tips as well. But if you guys have any, go ahead and comment them below. Another exciting thing that I'm harvesting is the perennial phlox that I planted bare root last year. Check out these blooms. What? That right here is my favorite. This is the sherbet blend, like, like sherbet ice cream. I always say sherbet, we all do, right? but it's spelled sherbet. So this is sherbet blend. And then I've got some others, Danielle, Popeye, uh, I think a couple other varieties that I didn't harvest that I have growing over there. The whites are a little bit later. I'll be harvesting those for the next session of the CSA. But these are amazing. I put them in a wedding bucket last week. Uh, the bride got chills when she looked at the bucket. I'm not even kidding. She got chills. I watched them on her arm rise up when she came to pick up her bucket of flowers. So uh, beautiful. These purple ones too are um, simply stunning. I believe that's Danielle or Blue Boy. Uh, Blue Boy. Blue Boy. That's correct. I hope. Go, 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 go. And then I have a bucket of a bucket of my Proca Orange. Lots of them in here. So they are going to get these today. And then guys, here are two of my favorite things. I have Lizzie's, look at Lizzie's. I have very few, but it's enough because I have hundreds more coming. But this is the first flush of Lizzie's that I'm cutting. These are the ones that I grew from seed. These are the ABC white. This is a Roseanne green that I grew from seed. Excuse me, that's pretty gorgeous. And then these ones are misty blue. And these are the ones that I, that I grew from plugs that I bought in from Farmer Bailey. La 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 la. Okay, this one's, oh, this one's a wee bit sad. Oh. Look at the misty blue. I wouldn't be mad to get that in a bouquet. They don't smell, but they do have an amazing vase life. And then look at the misty blue with this gladiola. What? It's the same thing. Didn't plan it. 
just happened. Okay, so I have my first flush of gladiolas, guys, and I get all of my gladiolas corms from a company called Fred Nagel and Sons, and they're amazing. So we have the first flush of Lysianthus. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Wouldn't that be just a beautiful bouquet? Okay, anyway, and then these are the first cuttings of glads, and guys, so far, no thrip damage. I planted them oh, about 800 feet from where I planted them in years past, and so far, there's no sign of thrip damage. I feel that gladiolas might be a crop that I need to drastically rotate from year to year in order to avoid getting, this is a lower stem that needs to be snipped on the Lizzie, that needs to be rotated in order to prevent thrip damage. Okay, what the thrip? Okay, next bucket. This is gonna take forever. And I'm probably not gonna use all of these flowers, but obviously, tried and true, I'm still harvesting Snapdragon's many, many varieties. Latecomers starting to harvest the Bonary Giant Zinnias, and there's also some queens in here. And are they ever. This is one of the new peach, queen lime peach ones, beautiful. We've got queen lime red, queen lime orange. Let's see. Always love these varieties. Um, I think there are a few more in here as well. Oh, yep, there they are. They're a little bit shorter. Uh, wow, you're so pretty. These are a crowd favorite always. Oh, right. Moving on. They just have that romantic look. Okay, zinnias. Oh, guys, rubecchia. There's some sunflowers in here too. Um, but this is some of my Rubecchia. We've got the Goldilocks Rubecchia. We've got Prairie Sun. We've got all the gorgeousness. And then obviously on the other side, we've got some sunflowers. So yippee i ki -yay. We have some beautiful straw flowers, harvesting tons and tons and tons of straw flowers. I mean, four buckets of this, four buckets of this, and also four buckets of Ageratum, which is right here. I thought I grew multiple varieties this year. It turns out I only grew Blue Horizon. Um, I actually laid down in a cloud of them the other day. It was quite magical. And then I have, we're also harvesting buckets of Gumfrina. This is the Carmine variety. Wait for my camera to catch up. Um, it's coming across a little bit brighter than it actually is on camera. It's more, it's not as, I don't know. It's more purpley pink than it's coming across on camera. I feel like that looks like cranberry-ish, but it's a purpley pink. It's gorgeous. Also, I think I have four buckets of this. <laughs> this is smelling up the porch. I have amazing lilies to go in my CSA bouquets today. Obviously, I like to put my lilies in bouquets looking like this and then they'll open up but i couldn't keep up with some this year so some of them are going to be partially opened and then they will have more buds that open up inside the vase some i was able to harvest at the perfect stage however some i did not but all the ones that are opening up have multiple heads so they'll have one open and then one yet to open so that'll be perfect i also have some customers that request no lilies because they are toxic to cats very bad so okay those are the ingredients that i'm adding to my csa bouquets today i will not be using all these flowers and whew, those are not all the flowers that i have cut this is about half of what i have cut right now so um, i have the farmer's market coming up and i also have my csa on Saturday, which I'll harvest for again the day before. So this is what I have for today. Let's load it up because I have to leave in like an hour. <laughs> I just went and got my bouquet making supplies and I just found two buckets that I forgot to mention. They were on the other side of the table. So this is some Buplurum that we're harvesting. It's a little dark. Let me see if I could, yeah, there it's brightening up. So I haven't been trusting the Buplurum because it's kind of been, um, a little bit weak on me. It's been wimpy. And then it's some more gladiolas in this as well. And then guys, how exciting. The first flush of Mrs. Burns Citrus Lemon Basil. 
it just makes my bouquets. I love putting at least one stem in every bouquet. It adds a fresh citrus scent, aroma if you will, and people love it and they ask for it by name. They'll come up to me at the farmer's market and say, excuse me, do you have any Mrs. Burns citrus lemon basil? No, they usually don't say that, but they ask for lemon basil. Anyway, I have so much, so let's get started. I'm gonna make 13 bouquets today. This is my CSA with, that's out of town. I have fewer members. I have 20 members in town, 13 members out of town. So I'm gonna set a timer and see how long it takes me. Um, stopwatch, that's what I meant. And start, oh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these beautiful purple stems. And this one's speaking to me right now. Maybe the chartreuse and the purple. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, and then we've gotta get some sunflowers. I, I honestly should have cleaned the sunflowers before. Um, I haven't had time, so we are cleaning it now. I've gotta get my clippers. They're over on the um, coffee table over there. But in the meantime, I will just snip, snip, snip all day long. Snip, snip, snip while I sing this song. Already, I love this, already. Okay, three sunflowers. We're going with I'm gonna go with a white rose lily with this one. So it's gonna be like a chartreuse, white and purple. That's gonna open up. It's a rose lily, so it's double petaled and these both of these will open up. Okay, it's making me think I should have used the white sunflowers, but nope, I don't think so. Okay, and I'm gonna go with some straw flowers at various stages of unrest. Wow. So somebody said that they have little worms all over their ageratum. Look how the ageratum bounces in here, especially with that blue boy phlox. <gasps> oh yes, I haven't even gotten to the basil yet. Who's coming with me? Guys, I wanna show you the chim chimney. So I do have two customers that requested no lilies because of their cats. So I'll make sure to honor that and they'll be labeled separately. Um, so far, I'm loving this. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna put, I think I have enough to put two sprigs of basil, one on each side, oh my gosh. And I really wanna put a hydrangea in each one. I'm really nervous that they're gonna fall flat. I'm terrified that they're gonna fall flat. Lysianthus. So on the opposite side of the white lily, I'm gonna put the Lysianthus to have a pop of white on each side. I'm just making it up. I don't know what I'm doing. I know that smells good though. Okay, I forgot to add a gladiola. I don't have enough to add gladiola. Oh, I forgot gumfrina too. I don't have enough gladiolas to do um, like, and I feel like one gladiola looks weird, so maybe some I'll do lilies and some I'll do gladiolas. Okay. This is very nice looking. I'm really happy with it. I honestly, I'm happy with this without the hydrangea. I think I would be very pleased to get this. Okay, I've decided not to do the hydrangeas. I just don't want, I don't want their first bouquet to be like even slightly a disappointment. So if they're hydrangea wilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some variations here. I'll do a hot water treatment. I'll do um, like a snip up the stem treatment. So I'll do a bunch of experiments here with it and then I'll feel more confident perhaps using them next week. All right. I feel good about that. So sorry about that um, scatterbrain, but okay, next one. I'm going to wrap it. Let me wrap it then. I've been telling people that I am literally the definition of a chicken running around with its head cut off but that's what I feel like lately. Here is number one. Let's get going. I don't want that sitting in the sun, so I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, let's go with one of the most gorgeous Sherbet blends. Honestly, it's heavenly. And I'm gonna go with the pinky, a pinky zinnia. Oh, yes, and a little queen lime red as well. 
Really wish I could use those hydrangeas. I'm gonna put a couple snapdragons in this one. I'm gonna go with a white lisianthus on this side. I'm gonna go with the white night sunflowers, which have a white petal and a dark inside. I have quite a few of those. I feel like that's just beautiful. I might put two white nights. I don't, I just like it like this. I'm gonna give this one some fever few. I only have a limited amount of fever few. This, um, today I do have an entire patch that's about to burst. Ooh, that, that is special. Oh, wow. Uh-huh, okay. Um, yep. That's something. That's something. I'm actually removing, this lily just started to open up. I'm going in and I'm removing those right there because they get really dirty. I've already removed them from those too. So, um, so these two are open. That's obviously for like show. And then this one will open up later. Let's see some basil. And then this one looks and smells ready to go. Wow. They're going to be fighting over these. Basically how my CSA works is first come, first serve. So if you see something that you really like and you're there first, you get to choose it. That's the way it works. I'm going to go ahead and put in, I'm going to do one more Lysianthus on this one. That is this beauty and I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love. Uh, and the bigger that these bouquets get, um, obviously the more buckets I have to bring. So um, that is something to keep in mind. Let's grab, I'm gonna go with another one of these, but make it darker this time. Yeah, I'm gonna make it darker with the yellow sunnies. So you can start with like the same base and then totally transform it with just what else you put into it. So just by putting the dark zinnias and the yellow sunflowers, this bouquet already has a totally different feel. I'm gonna put another sunny in here. And some straw flowers. Also brings that dark magenta. They're just so good. I harvested my helper and I, Branda, we harvested so many the other day. So I'm gonna start to hang them to dry and hopefully there's a ton of space at the nursery. Hopefully I'll find a good space to do that. I am going to, actually I'm gonna make this one a lily free bouquet. So I'm gonna put another head of phlox in it. And let's see, this is one stem of Lysianthus. I'm gonna put two of them in there. And I have to label it that it's um, lily free, so I'll put it separately. I'm gonna use a couple Goldilocks Rebecca in here as well because they're just stunning. This is one of the chim chimneys. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. See where it gets its name? It looks like the chimney sweep, the brushes that they use. So anyway, those are gonna be gorgeous for fall. Those are just starting to bloom. That one, ooh, I love it. No lilies, so this is gonna go in a separate bucket. I'll put it right here with the flock. Nope, that's too deep. That water, she too deep. <laughs> put the lily free one in with the bucket of lilies. Nah, let's put it on this side. There's a little separator. Wow, that is good looking. Okay, so I have one, two, three. All righty then. I'm going to take this beautiful pale yellowy peach and I'm gonna work with it. Where do I wanna, where do I wanna go? I think I want a purple phlox. And I do have this gorgeous, oh yes, mm-hmm. And you, and you. Let's work in some misty blue Lysianthus. Yes. 
the misty blue with this blue boy phlox. Goodness gracious. All right, let's get some green in here. Adding the basil already. I just like to get the green in there. Oh, wow. I love it. I am going to use some gladiolas in this one because I can't help it. I need to. That is phenomenal. I am going to snip the top couple inches off the glad because it is a little bit too tall for me. So that's going in. I'm going to do one more. I just don't want it to look silly. So tall, you know. I'm going to break it down to the same height. Oh, there, that's not too tall. And this one's actually closed. So this one will open for them in the vase. There's a little bit of foliage. It's like shucking corn. Wow. Okay. I am going to put an extra lily in here that is not open yet. There's a single stem one. Where did I see it? Okay. There is a single stem lily. I am also going to take those off. And then a couple of white night sunflowers and this one's done. I feel like it needs a couple of um, edgeratum as well. It's getting windy. It's getting windy. Oh. Oh. Is this my favorite? Is it your favorite? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Wow. Okay, all right, I'm wrapping it. That one is beautiful. I love it, okay. So this is one of my big buckets and I only have four. Let me get a thumbnail for the video because I'll forget to do it later when I'm more rushed. Okay, so that's got four. Let's do this. I'm gonna do another one with the purple. Bring in the white and this. That's a bug I don't want on it. And I think, I think I only like that white. Oh wait, nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna grab the sunflowers. Wonder if my microphone's still working. Wouldn't it be nice if it would work? It would be so great if it just worked. Half kidding, half not. Okay, I am gonna put a lily in here and I am gonna do this gorgeous yellow one, one open, one not. And I'm gonna put a cone flower in here. She pretty, right, right there, yes. This makes me wanna put this queen in there too. Snapdragons, snapdragons. And I'm gonna go with misty blue. A misty blue lisianthus. She's lovely. Okay. So I'm gonna try and just shove number five in there. Might not hit the water right away, but I'll figure it out. All right, I'm grabbing this and throw in some pinks in to light up my life. Sunflower, sunflower. Oh, that zinnia foliage has got some bug damage, so I'm gonna take that right off. Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. Mmm, this is just bright. This pink is so good. What did I drop? I hit a sunflower. The pink is delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lily, like the same idea, this pink one right here. Not, now I'll do this one too because it's basically fully open already. So it's, I don't like to use that. So this is, Pops of pink and yellow. Speaking of, I will put that yellow. No, I'm gonna do some Rebecca. Yes. I'll use a prairie sun. Wow. 
Can't go wrong this week. Can't go wrong. Oh, she's gorgeous. I'm gonna do a couple straw flowers as well. Wow. Wow. All right, I'm gonna take this lily and like put it in the top. Not sure, I'm not feeling the azuratum, but I gotta put some basil in here. Some of the basil stems are a little on the short side because we had um, crazy cold nights and they were killed back, so. They died, but they freak I guess they didn't die. They were in the ICU for a while. Can you stand it? Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. I'm gonna have to just set it here until I have another bucket for my bouquets. Gotta find out where that other bucket is because I'm gonna need it. Okay, let's do this other one. I'll have to look up to see um, what variety this one is, but it's this beautiful phlox. I cannot recall who it is exactly, but I have two stems of it this morning and I will use both. And let's bring in some, oh yeah, let's, let's bring in those. Mm. Hit me up with the basil. I know I don't do it any rhyme or reason. Uh, Lizianthus, we've got hot pink snapdragons. This one is gonna be a lily free bouquet. Uh, I'm gonna bring in some corals. And I'm also gonna bring in these beautiful gladiolas with the peachy color. Ooh, wow, that's, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I hope Lily gets this one. I'm making it for her. She just put her name on it. All right, Lily, you want some gumfrina? I know you do. This is my favorite one right now. This is my favorite one. It's hot pink, white, coral, yep. All right, Lily, this is the only like corally peach straw flower I have. You're welcome. Even though I really wanna keep it, you're welcome. I know she's gonna want sunflower. All right, and she gets the Roseanne green. Um, let me do a sunflower. Oh my God, this thing is huge. This thing is massive. Okay, that leaf has to go too. Oh my goodness, one on each side. One on each side. My CSA members get everything. They, I will load up this bouquet until I cannot close the paper. In fact, next year I might buy bigger paper for them. Okay. They support me before my season even starts. They deserve everything. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take the other, these two are lily free bouquets. I'm gonna put the lily one here. Okay, let's see if my microphone's still working. For the, for the time being, the answer is yes. Got a message, okay. Five, six, seven. I really liked that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another like pinky pink one, but also with a lily because I've got more pinky pink lilies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's divine. Gotta get more of these gomps. Cause I am rushing cause I still have to print out my paper for like a, that lists all of my customers for um, the place that's where pickup is. Okay, I'm snapping the top off that. Here's another of the same color, snapping the top off that. Wow, basil, basil, basil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La da da. 
La -da -da -da. I have so many flowers. I'm gonna put some yellow snapdragons in here. Wow, these Rebecca. Wow, I don't think I need that. I will put like, this is a straw flower. <laughs> That's more than a straw flower, I can't use that. This is a straw flower. Just so they get a straw flower in there and a white Lysianthus. That's, that is a whole bunch of fun all in one. Here is this one all wrapped up. I love it. Bright and summery. I really do love it. Okay. All right, this is going on this side. All right, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Let me go see exactly how many I need and see how much time I have left. Last purple one using two and some light purple and some, you know what? Nope, I just saw orange zinnias. That's where I'm going. Purple and orange is one of my favorite combinations. So I have three orange colored zinnias here. So I'm gonna go with a purple and orange, a bouquet with some other pops of color for sure. There's some pink over here. We'll go with the hot pink. I like the hot pink over here. Oh yeah, that one. We got three hot pinks over here. Gomfrina. Pop, pop, pop. Definitely some ageratum. Earlier I was saying someone complained about they had little worms on their ageratum. Well, I have a few. I didn't really notice a ton, but then today I did notice a few more and I found that vigorously shaking the top, like, if they are in there, they will fall out and it doesn't damage um, the petal. They're kind of, they're pretty awesome. I love them. Wow, look at that brightness. Okay, so we've got a couple of straw flowers in here. Oh, I like the orangey yellow color. Put that in here and then some Rubecchia. Look, that is one stem of my Rubecchia and I can separate it out. Boom. Put it over here, boom, put it over here. And then these last two can go over there. It's almost like a triloba. And then a couple sunflowers. Oh, now this is my favorite. I really love this one. I love it. It's got all of the bright colors of summer. It needs like a spike. So I think I mean, I'm gonna put a glad with it. And I, I actually, <sighs> I'm actually gonna pull off that bottom glad. It was gonna be blooming too far in the, in the vase, so. All right, now we've got two bright purple glads. Oh, I love it. And now some basil. Okay. Wow. Wow, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I think that one's my favorite. And it's another non-lily one. So that's a third non-lily option. Shoot, I forgot to put a Lysianthus in it. I'm shoving a Lizzie in. I'm shoving it down. It's a misty blue. And there, it's in the rubber band. I'll pull it down there. So I'm moving the Lysianthus and gladiolas over into the Snapdragon. And then I'm putting these Lily Free Bouquets in this bucket, even though, honestly, I can't fit very many in there. It's so full. The bouquets themselves are so big. Look at them. I'm so excited. Let's go with Beauty. Beauty. Oh, the 
rose lilies coming alive. I think it's called um, cream, bowl of cream. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, she's right here down the middle is where she is. Oh wow. Hi, honey. Yes. We're gonna have some dancing fever few around this white lily. Oh my gosh. If I were one of my own CSA members, I would have such a hard time choosing this week. I would, seriously. This one screams, please put an echinacea in me. Yes, it does. That's right there. Oh wow. Basil and Lysianthus. Basil and Lysianthus. Basil and Lysianthus. I'm gonna put a pure white Lizzie in this one instead of the cream because that, that lily is that pure white as well. Is my microphone still on? Yep, wow, we're looking out here, folks. We're looking out here. Um, I think maybe a couple of, oh, there's a fireworks gumfrina. I'll put that in. The fireworks gumfrina has, well, it looks like a firework. Put that in. And I will also put a couple of Prairie Suns, and one Goldilocks, Rebecca. Okay, my rubber bands, I only have a few left. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to buy some more, and I think this is like the last of them. That, hello. Mm. Okay, I think I only have two more to go. Okay, I have three more to make, so perfect. I will use uh, one of, those, this beautiful, big old zinnia, that zinnia. I'm gonna use a bunch of snapdragons for this one, a bunch of pinks. Wow, this is a pink overload. I'm gonna give it a misty blue. Wow, bring in that blue, which allows me to then bring in a bunch of ageratum because I've got that misty blue with the faint coloring and then I can bring it in so it'll be, oh wow, like a pastel, just a pastel unicorn Lisa Frank picture. That's what this is. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got more pink and more pink and more pink. Feel like it needs sunflowers and a lily. This will open to be a pink and white lily. It is nice and swollen. And this will also open to be a pink lily. So those can go right there. This straw flower's got a little bit of a floppy head. I'm not gonna use that one. I will hang that one upside down to dry. I am gonna put in a couple of white sunflowers for this one. I think that'll go good with this vibe. Don't wanna brighten it up too much. Oh, wow. Oh, that's perfect. Look, that white sunflower, that just adds to the vibe of this very well. Okay, some fever few. Basil. Oh, wow, that's a hefty piece of basil right there. Hefty, hefty. <sighs> I'm so happy. I need to get more water. I need to get, oh, this is perfect. The flax bucket is almost empty, so I'm gonna add it to the basil and then dump out some of this. Because I don't wanna have too much water in the buckets because then the paper gets wet. Just enough. They're so big that I'm only gonna be able, I can fit two in that bucket, two. Speaking of, I have two more to do. So I'm gonna use both of these flocks. Um, oh, wow. I'm gonna go with a corally, corally pink one, which works because I have these dark snaps that I can use. And obviously we're adding yellow in the form of sunflowers. And this, wow, look at this. This is a yellow lily that is going to be opening up um, 
eventually. <laughs> so that'll be there. Um, when they're ready. When they're ready. You don't rush it. Lily takes its time. Okay, love that. Give them a straw. I'm adding um, the ABC yellow Lysianthus into this one. It's very special. Oh, wow, yes. Oh, wow, this is making me very happy. Very happy indeed. This color combo is something else. And then I gotta add the basil to the bottom. I like to do the basil around um, the bottom. A, because basil doesn't really get that tall right now. The sunflower needs to be bigger. This is my fall vibe. I, I know it's only August. I know. It's unintentional fall vibes. Unintentional. Okay. You know what I'm going to put in here? This is a cone flower that lost all of its petals and it just has like texture. Yeah. Texture. And of course, I just ran out of staples. I got one staple, um, but I have spares. So let me go get them. Okay, this is the last one. Last one, last one. All right, I'm gonna use this gorgeous Sherbet Mix Phlox. I'm taking off, there's a couple of spent ones, but plenty that have yet to open. So I'm gonna take these. Um, the Zinnia situation is gonna be, again, the beautiful corals. That is what I have left. And then this dark, beautiful, I think it's called Deep Red. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, take this pink one too, put that in. And of course the sunflowers. I'm making a mess, mom. Ooh, I have some more glads here, but no, they don't go with the scheme here. They're not going with my vibe. These are going with the vibe. I'm loving the suns. And of course, they will get a yet to open lily. This has got four huge um, buds on it. So there is a gorgeous lily. And we'll put some gumfrina in. Gumpf. Um, and then more of the more Rubecchia. Get a double in there. Wow. And then this straw flower is screaming to be in here. Look at it. It's got orangey vibes. That's going to be in there. I know. Oranges and pinks and corals. All of the above. Let's put some lemon basil in it and call it a day. Wow. Lysianthus. Misty blue. There's a misty blue. Gonna do two because we have it. These lilies are a uh, pale yellow. They will open. And there is the final one. I still didn't go get the staples, so I gotta go staple. There you go, week one of CSA. I am super, super happy with these bouquets. I know my CSA members are gonna be very happy when they walk in and see all of this color there. I feel bad for the person who walks in last, but <laughs> their flowers will still be gorgeous because I would be happy with any one of these bouquets. So anyway, guys, this is week one. Stay tuned for weeks two through five. We'll see you soon. I'm gonna lift up the camera a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm like frantic. <laughs> Am I gonna get it done? Will I deliver the bouquets in time? Will there be enough? <laughs> of course there's enough.